what it do what it does welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing fantastic because today i got something special for you now listen now i don't know about you guys but for me i do a lot of play testing scouting out cards and ultimately trying new decks and new combinations so i thought it'd be cool if i show you some of the decks that i'm trying out and that i'm playing right now so if you like more videos where i'm showing you some of the decks that i'm currently using right now make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button each like helps get these videos into the recommended and you can show your appreciation for these videos by liking and subscribing so the first deck i'm going to show you is my combo thor list it has wasp yellow jacket kitty pride bast angela elsa bloodstone luke cage mysterio bishop thor hulkbuster and jane foster now one of the main things i like about this deck is it's very combo centric and you can get a lot of miracle turn sixes which can result in a lot of four and eight cube wins of course we have our angela kitty pride combo mixed with our elsa bloodstone to be able to keep on pumping that kitty pride to ridiculous amounts of power we also have bishop there to ramp up our power throughout the game so as long as you can allocate your power sources correctly you can continuously apply pressure to your opponent right before your miracle turn six i also have the wasp and yellow jacket uh they're the zero cost cards that's going to be combined with thor's hammer and you're going to be able to get those cards to your hand by using jane foster aka the side chick so as you can see they all synergize with bishops plus one power ability as you can see after you play a card this card gains plus one power you can see how extremely powerful that can be all in all i think my combo thor deck is extremely fun to play and you should try it out so next on the list you see i have my ultron deck basically all the cards in here will synergize with each other and a little spicy thing i got in there as you can see in baku almost nobody plays in baku but i mean i just wanted to throw it in there to show the man some love you got your patriot your mojo to be able to add additional power to your board state and of course you gotta have elsa bloodstone anytime you have a cheap deck ultimately cards that have really low energy costs it's usually a good idea to throw elsa bloodstone into those decks most of the turns we're going to be playing our blue marvel if we have it in hand all while setting up our board so we can slam down on turn six our ultron and he creates four one power drones at each other location which is going to get ramped up by our patriot is going to get ramped up by our kazar so you're going to see that you're going to have a really really strong board at the end of the game on all three lanes one of the best things i like about this deck is it's super easy to play so if you're looking for a deck that you can just relax and play some marvel snap this is a good option next i've been playing my evo wave a little bit as you can see it utilizes the combination of high evolutionary i mean it's really strong almost in every variation you make a deck that has high evolutionary he is ridiculous he is the truth i will say that if you don't have high evolutionary please 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 try your hardest to get them. but all in all this is just a flat out great deck it's consistent you can constantly apply pressure to your opponent you can lock out the board you could ramp up power over time there's so many great things that this deck can do only thing i could say about this is this deck is weak against debuffs but outside of that this deck is extremely strong if you're afraid of debuffs you can always add a loot cage instead of rogue i decided to go with rogue because rogue is strong against just about everything in the meta right now so yeah this is an excellent option like you can't go wrong with high evolutionary you should try it out next deck we have here is my loke dog deck you better believe it baby of course this deck is made possible with the main man loki on reveal replace your hand with cards from your opponent's starting deck give them minus one cost so essentially you can play your opponent's deck but cheaper like th that is insanely strong if you have the cards for this deck i would recommend putting this deck together it is an expensive deck it certainly isn't the cheapest of decks uh because you have elsa bloodstone you got mirage you got jeff you got mobius you got loki himself you got a whole bunch of series four and five cards in this deck but i'm telling you this deck is one of the best if you're good at playing marvel snap this deck is absolutely incredible so many options and you know me i love options but if you're one of those people who like a constant consistent play pattern something more simple this may not be the deck for you but if you are a options based player if you like assessing the situation and the board state making your adjustments and changes this is the deck for you really good really powerful really strong really consistent um and it, it has a lot of counters to a lot of different things check it out next we have one of my favorite decks to use one of my favorite decks to play using one of my favorite play styles and that is discard i absolutely love discard you catch a lot of people off guard you'd be surprised how many people are not paying attention to your apocalypse just ticking up getting stronger stronger 
and sometimes they can't do anything about it it can't be shang chi this deck is one of my absolute favorites so basically what you want to do is you're looking to discard your apocalypse as many times as possible so you can get them as strong as possible to be absorbed by your dracula which has the unique ability that at the end of the game you discard a card from your hand and he will have that discarded cards power now you're going to look at the rest of this deck and you're going to see swarm sitting there now you may think that's a little counterintuitive but understand that swarm and america chavez after swarm is discarded it's going to have zero cost so you're going to be able to play america chavez and as many swarms as you possibly can play on turn six and then be left with your apocalypse that has 16 20 24 power to be discarded by the dracula and take a good look at the deck list i know you see it i know you see it i know you're wondering why my man zola's up here chilling in this discard deck all i got to say to you is put him in the deck try him out see when he can be played and when he can be useful it didn't come back to me and last but not least certainly not least is my prideful doom deck now i just made a video going over this deck this deck is really really strong because it counters almost everything in the meta you got your mobius to stop people from uh reducing cost of their cards you got your shadow king that's good against buffed cards you got shang chi that is really really strong against the discard archetype right now with everybody using black knight and infinite etc etc we got elsa bloodstone with the kitty pride combo we have wave to be able to get out dr doom so we can go wide we have vision so we can move power around the board we got legion so we have control over some of those locations we got spider-man so we can move our opponent's cards around we got luke cage so we can't get debuffed we got it all we got it all there's nothing that i do not like about this deck this deck is absolutely fantastic it's extremely fun to play but it's extremely difficult to play okay if you have a good grasp of the game of marvel snap play this deck try this deck put effort into this deck this thing is incredible it will win you so many games you would not even believe it but anyways i appreciate you guys for watching this video checking out some of the decks that i'm currently playing now and again if you like more videos just like this make sure you comment in the comment section let me know what you like to see providing you guys with the kind of content that you guys are looking for is extremely important to me i love to entertain you guys with giving you guys the things that you want to see and with that keep giving the ops that custom cook and i'll see you guys next time